Hey, what up, guys? It's me again, and welcome to the This Is My Moment podcast. I'm your host, Patrick Mitchell. And, you know, here at This Is My Moment, we like to have fun. We like to have a good time, and it's all about family. There ain't no stopping it. This is my moment. Uh, join the movement. We bringing people together, bringing positivity, making changes for the better. Today, I got an individual on here that I can't wait to talk to. I want to see what we going to do with this one. I'm excited. Get excited with me. Introduce yourself to the family. Hey, everyone. And thank you so much for having me on the podcast. It is an honor to be here. My name is Tatiana Labello. I am a breakthrough mindset coach, and I just love to bless others and really help them step into their calling with clarity, confidence, and power. And it's that's always been my mission is to motivate, inspire, and encourage. And I am encouraged to be here with you today. Wow. Hello, family. That is. What up, y'all? <laughs> Man, so you, you you started off with this is my moment already. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I'm ready. Get it. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> so I'm, I'm researching you, right? And I'm looking at all of these things. And before I ask you, like, the good questions, I saw that you were a professional cigar roller. Is that true? That is true. That is a side, side, side hustle. <laughs> I okay. was actually trained um, and I go to weddings and golf tournaments and private events and parties and and I roll. I'm not opposed to a quality cigar. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, I, Man, got so for <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. I was like, OK, I'm going to like this one. So yeah. <laughs> I also saw that you call yourself a ladypreneur. That's correct. What is that? <laughs> well, you know, entrepreneur and I'm a I lady. That. So I combine the two and, you know, Patrick, I have built so many different businesses. I've had mm -hmm. success. I've had failures, yeah. a lot more failures. <laughs> and, you know, I've just learned along the way and I just wanted to be different. I just didn't yeah. want to be an entrepreneur. I, so I call my, and I used to be a travelpreneur because I had a travel business, yeah. but I am just simply a ladypreneur, just um, on target with my business and just loving to serve others with it. You out there getting it. Yes, we're out there getting it. Yeah. When I saw that, I said, man, that's, she going to, she going to have some juice. She going to have some energy. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to bring, I'm going to have to bring my A game on this one. Bring it on. Yeah, but this is it. what you do. This is who you are. And yeah. that's what I love to, I get to work with people yeah. that really just um, hone into the individuality yeah. and who they are. And when you really tap into that, you have so much fun because you're living from a sense of who you are and purpose and your yeah. passion. And yeah. I know that each and every one has a unique, special gift mm -hmm. and talent that only they can um, you utilize. Yeah. And so it's up to, I get to help others discover what that is and to step in it with boldness and confidence and courage. So uh -huh. I love, I love what I do. I know I could tell you smiling and your hand moving, girl. You don't snap me one time. I'm on it. <laughs> you <laughs> so, gotta have fun. You gotta have fun. Yeah, and that's what yeah. I love about your like show that. with you is you know, you, there's never a dull moment on yeah. this is my moment. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're gonna have fun. You can guarantee that. I'm gonna laugh and, and and it's gonna be like we've been knowing each other for years. I love that's it. That's right. We go way back. Way back. <laughs> Let me ask you this. What motivated you to start like this woman empowering movement that you got going on? What what was your motivation behind that? You know, it started when I was pretty much raised in the health and fitness industry right. and we were always active. And I started baton twirling when I was five years old okay. and I retired at nine years old with 150 trophies and a world championship. And it was all stems from my upbringing. So my mother, my yeah. hero, she laid the foundation and the platform. So watching her build businesses and really just giving back to communities and um, she was involved in so many different things. I just followed in her footsteps. And I knew at 14, when I got certified to teach aerobics, that that was 
I, that was going to be my calling or that was yeah. my calling is that I knew that I wanted to speak in front of 10,000 people. And I don't know how, how many 14 year olds have a vision <laughs> that you're going to speak in front of 10,000 people and you're going to make an impact um, in health and fitness and mindset and and um, helping people with defining their goals. So it was really my upbringing and my mother yeah. who really instilled those um, great principles. She taught me, if there's anything that you want to do, you can do it. Better. Just go do it. Just go do it. Just and you know what? I believed her. So yeah. that's exactly what I did. I just went out for different things. And that's why I have a long list of successes mm -hmm. because I had belief, not only in God, but I had belief in myself. Yeah. And just if I didn't know what, what it was, I just figured it out. Everything's yeah. figure outable. So yeah. Yeah. it's been a great journey. I'm very blessed. What's your mom's name? My mom's name is Sylvia. Shout out, Sylvia. You did well. <laughs> she got it. She got it. Great job. Aww. Yeah, yeah. So out of all the things, right, out of all the things you got going on or all the things that you've done, what makes you smile? What keeps what keeps Tatiana smiling and happy and joyful place? What is I it? love that question. I love that question. What makes me smile is not only seeing my clients as soon as they achieve their goals and they're yeah. really stepping into who they were meant to be, like seeing other people's successes makes me smile. Talking about passion and purpose and dreams and vision and goals, that's what lights me up. That's what having this conversation with you right now that's what lights me up. That's what makes me smile. It's really just, I come from an attitude of gratitude and I'm so mm. grateful. In fact, I have a gratitude and accountability partner that I talk yeah. with Monday through Friday, always coming up with my three gratitudes for the day, every single day without a veil. So that's how I live my life. And those are the things that make me smile. So I, I don't want to put you, I don't want to put you on the spot. What was your three today? What was your three? Um, that I get to come on. This is my moment podcast. Okay. That's one. Okay. And the other one is I have a woman's empowerment summit. So I have a collaboration with wonderful, amazing ladies. So I'm grateful for them. Okay. I'm also my, <laughs> my other grateful gratitude today. Cause I have it on a sticky note. I have sticky notes everywhere. <laughs> um, it is that it was a cool day today and just yeah. the cool breeze. So we could be something so simple as, you know, I love my coffee. I love my quiet mornings. Yeah. Um, every day I'm working on the gym. So if we just come from that space, I believe more gratitude, more <laughs> things come into your life yeah. that you, for you to be grateful for. Mm. And so coming from that gratitude, that is essential. Um, so what, what are you grateful for? You know what, for me, man, I think it changed when COVID hit. Like what what I've become grateful for changed. I've just become grateful to see another day because it gives me a chance to not only touch other people but to grow, right? And and Amen. I talk about it and and it's funny because before the COVID, right, you would expect someone 30, 40 years, 50 years, like they were you were still good for a couple more summers, right? But then all of a sudden, people that were close to me, younger than me, people that I knew, like they were leaving. And 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 I realized like every day that I'm not, this is my moment. I'm letting somebody else win. I'm losing summers. And the older I get, I'm 45. So it, Lord's willing, I got at least 25 more summers. And I don't want to waste those summers by being anxious or, 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 or jealous or spiteful or, or petty. I don't want to do that. So I'm grateful for the fact that I get to wake up today to try to be the best version of myself. That is so awesome. I love that you said that yeah. because it really put things in perspective, didn't it? it um, did. We had a mind shift and, mm. you know, I think mind shifts are good to have because we have to pivot and we have to really go with what's really important. It's yeah. not chasing the money and the fame and the fortune and all these materialistic things. Then we, mm -hmm. we really come to value our relationships and our friendships and our family mm -hmm. and quality time. So it really does put things in perspective. And yeah. we just, 
you never know when it's our time. So we have to live every single day on fire and in purpose, you know, on purpose with urgency. We have a mission. We have a mission to get out there and be the light of the world. You're right. And, you know, I I tell people all the time, right, the, for me, I want to rewrite the narrative. That's why I do these things, you know, and and I and I talk about it. And I'm gonna get ready to ask you a question that's gonna tie this back in. But I always talk about rewriting the narrative, right? Like I wanted to see the change, and 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 in order to me to see the change, I have to be the change that I want to see. So instead of me going out there and and talking bad about people or or being petty, like I want to uplift, I want to clap for everybody, right? If you're doing better than me, I'm still going to clap. If you're doing worse than me, I'm still going to clap because you're doing it. You live in it. You being inside of your moment. And that's what I think life is. And and every day that you're, you're able to wake up, put your feet on the ground, you should be able to help impact somebody some kind of way. It may not be financially. It may be coming on the show and making me smile and laughing with me. But I think that as people, we should want to give back and rewrite the narrative and, and write it the way that we want it to read. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, rewrite the narrative. And I say, create a life by design. Yeah. It's not whatever just happens to you. You are creating it. Yeah. And you are intentionally living an intentional life and on purpose. Yeah. For what your vision is and what your what your goals are and what's inside you, what's that burning mm. desire that you have that you haven't done yet because you're allowing fear to hold you back. Yeah. So it's really just stepping into that, but facing and just realizing that we all have gifts and we just have to use them yeah. and get out there and um, bless the world with our gifts. Truth, truth. Talk, okay. girl, talk. I love it. Preach it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let me ask you this. We you talked about it, your mom being a strong influence on, on, on instilling in you that drive, that motivation, and then you doing it. I talk a lot about circles, right? I keep my circle small and I and I keep the people around me that are positive, that that don't talk behind my back, that that see me try it, don't tell me not to try. I say, hey, go out there, try it. And if it fails, let's talk about it. What do you think makes a power circle? That's a great question. I love that question because we are the company that we keep. And I am very clear on who I let into my circle. And right. who I look for are people that are movers and shakers that have the same values and integrity and honor and the same ideologies and vision and just um, on a mission people on a mission. So I have my power circle um, of women. I have a mastermind and we do a lot of collaboration. Mm. So these are, these are business women that are all walks of life. But what we do have in common is we just, we want to better ourselves so that we can go out and we can help others in whatever Mm. aspect that is. So Mm. just ladies of vision of a goal oriented, high achievers, um, really getting in there and creating that team that small. But I like what you said about surrounding yourself with people that empower you, that lift you up yeah. and tell you what's possible, yeah. not what's not possible. Yeah. And then kind of give you some feedback and maybe mm. some ideas and collaboration and yeah. brainstorming. So I love that. I love that you have a power circle too. Oh, yeah. You know, what's funny is I didn't always have one. So When I started, this is my moment, right? I started talking about compartmentalization, right? And and it's an ugly word because that means everyone isn't everything to you, right? So you have to, in in, in my case, I move people around to to fit where I'm at. And And I say this to where the people that come to my house, right? And, And we eat and we break bread. I might not ask them for business advice because I don't, that's not who you are to me. But the same people that I ask business advice for and we go into business ventures for, I might not necessarily invite to my house, right? And I think that's super important to have those people around you that grow and know, but also you put them into where you need them so you can be successful. And and sometimes when you talk to people and like, hey, I thought we were friends. We are. But this is what you are for me. And this this is what I need. 
do you think like when you decide who you let into your into your power circle, what's your what's your what's your prerequisites? So I like that you said that because um whoever you're taking their opinions and ideas, you're buying right. their lifestyle. So mm. meaning if someone, if I'm looking for someone for financial advice, I'm not going to ask my broke brother to give <laughs> me advice where, you know, I'm buying their lifestyle. So whoever yeah. I'm um, partnering up with to, um, to take on their ideas and their opinions and what they, the advice that they have, make sure that they have the lifestyle that you want. They have the freedom. They yeah. have the servant, servant, you know, they're volunteering and they're That's giving so back yeah. and they're, yeah. um, you know, so I seek after my mentors are exactly, they have the lifestyle that I want. So I'm going to listen to them. And yeah. iron sharpens iron. So the more we get around movers and shakers and high level achievers and go-getters, you know, I think it was Steve Jobs that says he wants to be the dumbest um, person in the room, mm, yeah. you know, and he doesn't have the answer, but he circled the surrounds himself with people that do have the answer. Yes, so yes, yes. That's the type of people that I like to to bring into the smaller circle. And you're right, there's some others that um, I wouldn't call for business advice. Yeah. They don't have a business. <laughs> so they're not qualified to give me business yeah. advice. So yeah. Yeah. I really am careful mm -hmm. about who I listen to. I dig that. So... Is this true? Are you an author? Have you? Written I am. How many? I books have two have you books, well, and I have one that I'm working on right now. So my first book was a step-by-step -step guide to fitness competition success, and I okay. wrote it way back in the day. Okay. <laughs> because I realized there wasn't anything out there teaching um, about how to compete in fitness competitions. So right. I took my four years of competition and my um, winning titles to and figuring out the path and i put it all together in a in a 1999 book and then sold that back in the day and then i have my other book called breakthrough and this is with les brown okay and okay. Um, it's collaborative of of different authors ar yeah. around the world and so okay. the, the next one i'm working on is the beautiful project you which okay. is um, empowering women and being the best, beautiful, you know, version of yourself from the inside out. I dig that. So my my question is this: in the book Breakthrough, give me a little bit about it. Give me a synopsis of of your best inside the book. What's what's what you got going on in there? Well, there's so many good parts. <laughs> well, give me two of them. Give me two good ones. Well, let me just let me just say this. Um, Go ahead. So for my personal breakthrough, because these are stories and it's mm. kind of intimate because I was taught to be a very strong woman. I was right. taught to, um, you know, fake it till you make it and stand strong and, and no yeah. one wants to you complain. So, um, you know, for me to really just come out and just be real and vulnerable and share some of what I was feeling yeah, um, was, was really a challenge. And that was part of my breakthrough, but, wow. um, I was, I lived in Lo Los Angeles. I did the whole Hollywood scene and, yeah. um, I was doing fitness modeling infomercials yeah. and some hosting on the red carpet and mm. swimsuit modeling. So with that being said, you know, I just got caught up in yeah. <clears throat> what the casting calls and the agents and the managers and the, the industry, yeah. And I got caught up in that and put on a facade and started listening to who other people were telling me what to do and how to act to get the role. Yeah. I eventually became I came became lost. I didn't know who I was. Yeah. I I felt fear, rejection, um doubt. I was comparing myself and it, it just was a web of all these rejections over yeah. and over and over. And I just was in a very dark place. And what really brought me out of that is really just getting silent and going within and just stopping all the noise and the craziness yeah. and just being aware of 
wow, I just, cause I, it felt like I just woke up one day and I'm like, who yeah. am I? Yeah. And I really just, you know, when we are true to ourselves, we free ourselves to be who we're meant to be, but also to living with our authentic self. Yeah. And there was so much um, ugliness that went along with that. So that's what I talk about in the book. And um, a lot of the other things are just really the, the discipline and the determination that you have to have yeah. to get through because breaking through to the other side is not easy. Yeah, It's not easy, but just if we look at like, Failures aren't failures. It's just life showing you a different way to do it. We need that to pivot is. and go a different way. That and it's is. a stepping stone to what is, you know, better. But that's what makes us have our experiences is those trying times and those failures and getting away, going off course, and we get to yeah. get back on course. And yeah. so I like pretty- that. I'm gonna ask you something right now yeah. that wasn't on the list. And you talk about your books and you talk about what uh, list? No I'm kidding. <laughs> nah. <laughs> do you have a do you have a quote like that when you talk about you were in a dark place, right? And and I know everyone needs something to go back to to help them get back to, to who they are because it's very easy to get lost. Did you what did you go to? You know what I mean? Like, did you go to your 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 quotes? Did you go to the people in your circle? Like, what did you go to to bring yourself back to? to who Tatiana really was. What did you do? So what I did um, for me, I um, my foundation is my spiritual life. So okay. really just getting back to my favorite book and um, reading and studying and um, getting back to the principles of, you know, who God says I am. Yeah. And that is, that's really the foundation for me. That's who I am. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yes, my family, like my family is everything and just getting back to the essence of, of my family and the closeness that we share. Yeah. Um, so those are the things, but also, um, really evaluating my self-talk because mm. if I can just be honest. I had a lot of self-talk of <laughs> you're not good enough. You, yeah. Why do you think you can do that? She was better than you. She got yeah. the role. You didn't get the role. So I just had all this negativity. So I really had to, like you said, reframe. I had to take those things and I had to hold my thoughts captive and I had to reframe them and turn them around saying, I am good enough. I am worthy. I am more than a conqueror. I am powerful. So that, you know, it's just really diving into that mindset. And I think that's what really shifted my coaching from fitness coaching to really mindset and breakthrough coaching, because I know the power of the mind, what the mind will believe and conceive, it will achieve. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Powerful. Man, that's heavy, heavy. And I love it. Drop the mic. <laughs> hey, yeah, not yet, not yet. We got a couple more things. Pick the mic back up. We're not done. We're not done. So I'm looking you up, right? And I'm seeing all of this stuff that you do, man. And you do a lot of stuff, sister. But I saw that we had one thing in common. So it's not a secret to my family. Like I travel a lot. I in the the latter part of my life, I like vacations. Yes. I like I like getting away. And I'm not talking about going to grandma's house like we used to do. I'm talking I'm talking about vacation, yes. vacation. And I saw that you like to travel. First yes. off. Yes. The last place you went to. The last place I went to, I went to Puerto Vallarta. But before that, I was in Germany. I was in Tel Aviv. I was in, Hi. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now you're Israel. speaking my language. Yeah, I was in Israel. <laughs> like, I used to. I used to spend weeks in Dubai. Like I'm like, I get it. Right. But this is what I want to know. How do you make time to do all this traveling with all this stuff going on? Like I got a list of things that you do. When do you get a chance to go on these travels and these vacations? You see, that's why I had a travel (laughs) business before COVID. Okay. (laughs) 
I had a travel business for eight years and it was, oh my goodness, to talk about living out your passion. That was truly it. But um, this year I actually went to Turkey mm. and that was amazing. We went to Cappadocia. We okay. went hot air ballooning over the, the town and mm. stayed in a cave hotel built in the mountains and God. extraordinary, That's extraordinary. Fine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So how do I find time? You know, what's interesting is we find time for what's important. And that's what I teach. That's what I teach when I have a lot of uh, clients that come to me. I don't have time. I don't have time to take care of myself. I don't have time to work out. Yeah. I don't have time to drag. Well, they have yeah. time to vacation, but <laughs> it's all what, what, um, what you choose is priority. Yeah. And Vacation is like, you know, it's so good for the soul to get away and to explore and you only live once and just really studying about how other people live. And it makes you so grateful oh, to yeah. live in America and have yeah. everything that we have. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I tell people this and don't laugh when I tell I like to go let my hair down. <laughs> right? Let it flow. Let I, in the wind. Right. <laughs> so at the end of every show, I have. A little game I like to play with all of my guests, right? Oh no, yeah, hang on, don't 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 get too excited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the show, I give um, questions and and but you have to answer. It's a question and answer phrase, and um, you don't know these. And just like always, guys, Ashley sent uh, Tatiana the question, so she knew and she had the perfect answers, man. And you sounded amazing, just so you know. But. <laughs> We're going to see if we can get We're going to see if we can get you. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go to work. Let's go. Let's go. One place that you can go in the entire world, where would you go? You only get Spain. one place. I'd go back to Spain. That's where I was born. I'd go see my daddy because family is everything, and I haven't seen him in three years. Mm. I'd go back to my, my home. And next question, out of all the accolades, right, the, the life coach, the NFL, the NBA, the USFL, your cheerleading, your fitness modeling, your, boot, your, your beauty pageant title holder, you got to give up everything except one. What are we keeping? Everything must go except one. My business, the Bella Lifestyle. Because that's my that's my heart, that's my passion, that's my calling. That's what I've known since I was 14. <laughs> that I knew one day I would say, This is my moment. I get it. Don't do me like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't stole my next question. Here we go. <laughs> when I give you the phrase, this is my moment, what's the first thing comes to your mind? Being having the movement of my women's empowerment. This is my moment. Um that I've had many different moments leading up to this moment, but right here, right now, where I'm at yeah. with my women's empowerment and the mm -hmm. summit that I have coming up next week that I'm yeah. super excited with, um, it's really just serving others and just knowing that everything, all my experiences and everything that I've done on my accolades, that's great, but it's brought me to this moment in time right here, right now. What are we going to do with it? We're going to run. We're going <laughs> to be on purpose and intentional and just be a world changer, a difference maker. Already. I love it. We are done. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was awesome. Is that all you got? Come on. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's it. We'll be here all That's day. That's so awesome. You did amazing. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for being a part. I appreciate you so much. This has been so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love the questions at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told you. You're like, wrangling I, me back in because I really want to, I want to choose many things and not just one, as you yeah, can tell. I but um, I really had a great time and I just honor you. I love the work that you're doing and Thank just you. keep making a difference. Keep showing up and shining out and um, I appreciate you. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. Hey, guys, like Tatiana said, man, every day, attitude of gratitude. Every day, be something. Be something to someone. Be motivational. Be a movement for someone else. Find your purpose. And at the end of the day, go get it! There ain't no stopping it. This is my moment. Uh.
Join the movement, we bringing people together, bringing positivity, making changes for the better.